Hello everybody, it is Monday the 7th of November and I thought I'd do a weekly vlog because I haven't done one for a while. We'll see how it goes. It's the afternoon because I was in the office this morning and I was running late because of getting Jen. Oh, here comes Kitty Cat. Come here, baby. Here she is, little cat. Oh, she's after the uh, strap. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for a notebook that I've got some eBay stuff to get listed in. So if I find it, I'll get some stuff up and running because tomorrow, leave my pen alone, Zed, I will be going to Pontland Frith to have my Covid jab. Oh, the joys. But for now, I'm going to keep looking for that and I'll see you afterwards. It's all at home now. Jennifer's eating her tea. Hey, She's sitting behind me. And I'm colouring. Dad's washing up because I did the cooking. It's just been a, a chilled out evening. I did my 10 minutes of hooping. Tomorrow I'm going to do 20 because I'm going to do 10 minutes one way and 10 minutes the other way. So I did try it the other way and I can do it both ways. I've just got to make sure I've got enough space to do it in. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have a go at that tomorrow. So in a bit I'll uh, show you what I'm reading and how I'm getting on with it. I'll see you in a bit. So it's Monday night and I've come up to read for a bit. Yeah, it's actually, I don't know even what time it is. It's actually only half past eight. But I want to read for a bit. So I do a bit of reading and vlogging as well this month. This month, this week. Um, I'm preparing my journal for next month. As it stands, it is now, what, the 7th of November. And I have got 20 books that I need to read before the end of December to complete my Goodreads challenge. So I know I'm going to do it. But I am reading a huge book. I am reading Stephen King's It. I am on page 190. I think that's 1160 pages, so I've got a good chunk to go yet. So I'm going to see how much I can read until it's time to sleep. So it's just about half past eight now. And tomorrow I might carry on doing my journal for next year. Get it all set up ready, then all I've got to do is write in the TBR. It's not going down, you know. It's not going up. It's sort of hanging fire. Um, but I have found a charity shop down the road. They sell books. 20 for a pound. Well, they were anyway, so. But I can always take some of mine down there as well. Anyway, so yeah, it's half past eight now. I'm going to be reading Stephen King's It. Let's see how much we can read. Okay, well, it's ten past nine, so it's been 40 minutes-ish. And I'm now on 257, so I've read... 67 pages. As you can see, Thing is here. Come down, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Time for bed, it? You slept late. Wibble wobble. All right, we can have a wibble wobble and then sleep, all right? Yeah, That's fun. I'll go see you in the morning. Good morning, my friends. It is now Tuesday, the 8th of November. I'm just getting logged into my computer. like that um, to start my shift. Today I've got to go and have my Covid booster up in Pontland Frith. That's going to be weird because I haven't been up there in 32 years. Since I left school. Because it is behind where the school was. That would be very weird. So I'll be heading off over there well, as soon as I finish. So I'll be taking you with me um, just to have this Covid booster thing. And then what? And then I'll be picking Jen up, I expect. It won't be long after that. Might nip into Lidl's and get a few bits and pieces. And that's it, really. The cat has decided... Oh, she's got Anna to sit in the box where I keep my uh, coloured colouring books. When I've coloured in them and I, I've finished with them for the month, I've put them in a little box ready for doing the wrap-up. And uh, she decided to sit in it. She's got out now. <sighs> she's a funny cat. Anyway, oh. Excuse me, I actually slept really well. I'm going to get everything logged in and I will see you uh, when I finish. I've just come out of the leisure centre. I can't find this is the weirdest place. It is so weird being here because obviously I went to school here and that football pitch there, that used to be our running track. So it used to be, and I think up beyond there, we never had a football pitch there. It used to be red grass. I'm a fallen down, it's painful when you fell on it. So, and the school is just there. We're gonna have a quick look. I'm just having a walk around this section a minute. This, I think, 
I can't remember, it's been over 30 years, was the, um, where we did woodwork and stuff like that, if I remember. Obviously, it's all good, it's all nice and secure. Oh, wow, can I see in there? Empty rooms, the lights are all on, interestingly. Yeah, that would have been where we did cooking in that section. So that, that would be right. That would be, <coughs> excuse me, where we did home economics and stuff. I don't know if you can see through there. Well, you can see the tables and things. I'm so, I just, I just want to have a quick nose before I go, oh, wait, 15 minutes for it and drive. So just in case, so it's, oh, this one's open. Let's have a look around here. Obviously, I'm not going to try and enter any the buildings. I'm just having a nose. Uh, that's a, yeah, that was definitely where we used to do cookery, so... We used to come down... Oh, my God, this is so bizarre. I used to walk down there to um, see my friend who used to live down... Just down the, the lane there. She had a very short walk to school. And we used to go to lunch down at her house sometimes. It's probably locked up down here. Well, there is a car park here, so that's probably why this one is still open. Um, we'll get down there and I'll show you the car park that's down here. Um, God, this is weird. Never used to come down these stairs myself because this car park was for the teachers. This was the teachers' car park. So, like, Mr. Edmonds and all those guys, they used to park here. Um, so we just have a little walk. There are some gaps where you can get through by the look of it. Looks like somebody's forced that open. You shouldn't really. The gate's open, so as it's open, I'm going to have a little sneaky look just down here to see what's here. So, see, as you can see, this is so. This was the teacher's car park. I mean, Freya would walk up there, come up here, and then we'd walk all around here to get to where we're going. It's all grown over now because the school's been shut a few years. I don't remember what was there. Obviously, they've used that as some sort of playground. Let's have a look up here. Now, this gate's shut quite rightly, so we'll be going back up and get in the car, but I think this was um, G Block, where the special needs kids were. Yeah, look, there's a G up there. And it was attached to A Block over there. So, I don't know if I can see much more because it is all shut up, quite rightly. It's due to be demolished at some point. So I'm afraid we would have come along here. As you can see, it's all done. And just there, in the back, in front, you can see A Block, which is where we had English and Maths. I'll see if I can get round the other way with the car now. Um, yeah, so I can remember coming up here. and So that's where we were just up there. It's not focusing because it's so bright. But I'm going back up now to get the car. It did look like one of the gates was open down the front, so I'm going to have a quick look. So up here, right by the section that was cookery. And I think that was... Oh, that was old. It's hard to see. Walk covers so you didn't get wet when it rained. Um, but that was where we did French dances, Welsh upstairs if I remember rightly, I think. And there's A Block. A Block is the old one over there. Would have been the first building here. We had English, History, Geography and Sewing. The only thing we ever made in Sewing was an apron to use in cookery, which is where we are now. This is so bizarre. I've just parked on a single, or part of a single, just so I can have a quick look through the gates, which is actually open amazingly. And I'm gonna sneak in and have a quick look. So this was a block. You can't get very far, because it's all closed up. <coughs> that red door there, behind there is the, um, There was a room there where we used to, it was sort of like a performance space and on your first day you went in there sat on the thing and it told you where to go and that was the door to it as well. 
be quite your name and your form. So, let's just have a quick look before we go home. It won't be long, so I've got to go and catch you. Anna. So these rooms here were like English classes downstairs um, and history. And then upstairs that would have been one of the geography classes, possibly Miss Williams. Um, let's just have a quick look. I'm not gonna try and get in the building or anything like that. It's not safe. Let's open down there. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not going down there though because there's not much down there. But uh, so this was the main entrance to A block. Uh, it's not focusing for some reason. Let's see if I can get it to. So that would have been Miss Williams' rooms up there, and then Headmasters was up there somewhere. Just going to show you down there, which is open. That's the tennis court. I played tennis a while down there. One day I was sick. The gym where we used to do trampolining, gym changing rooms. So, I think one of these here was Mr. Blunt's history classroom. This one, I think. Yeah, and the ones up there, that was the sewing rooms. And this would have been Mr. Blunt's room, I think. So, this is where we were before now where me and Frey would walk across to get to here after we'd been in to get in for registration. You're either going through the door here at the end or the main one. There was a door there that was bricked up. I can't remember whether that was there previously. So that was a special building. And I'm pretty sure that was French and Welsh up there. It's weird to see it. It's just, uh, I'm going home now. But it is the most bizarre thing. I'd love to, I'd love to go inside. Let's go behind this, it's too dark. But it's weird that the electric's on in the uh, cooking room. Because the lights are on, so. All these are boarded up inside as well, which is good. You still get the idiots trying to break the glass. Headmaster's office would be that one there, I think. Or that one. It was on the stairs, I remember that. There you go, look. Angelis History LRC Library. Library was in that building. And you see that door is open, so Oh, I tempted, but I don't want to be done for trespass, so you could get in there. And I shouldn't even be telling you that, but you could get in there if you wanted to. But I've got to go and get Jen, so I'm going home. There's another entrance into the schoolyard. Used to be an ice cream van that used to park there. We used to have ice creams all year round. A block. These blocks over here, one of them was used for religious instruction, or R, E. There's the French block up there. And there's a big space where some people parked their cars, and there's another entrance into A block there as well as the others. So, I'm gonna have a look, see what this says. Okay, so I'm back in Risker now, waiting to pick up Jen. It's a bit early, but it's not not enough time to do anything. It's probably about quarter two, three, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, just coming up to quarter three. So, while I was there, I, I did notice the new planning application thing. It went up yesterday, so it's very new, so there's gonna, it's gonna be a while before this has gone through. There are plans on the Kafili website, so I'm gonna go and have a look at it, because I wanna see what they're actually planning. But part of it is a pupil referral unit for special needs pupils. But they're planning on it, eight, 80 to 120, with indoor and outdoor sports provisions, um, and a lot of support for special needs uh, children, which is fantastic, because this that is what we need in this area. Um, so I want to see what their plan is for the site. Uh, I'll go and have a look at it, and then I might, there is an email address there, I might email and see if there's any way I find if anyone can give us permission to have a quick look round, even if it's only A block, before they either demolish it or refurbish it into it. I'm hoping they'll refurbish it because you could use the blocks. Some of the blocks are still usable. One of the reasons it closed and merged was because of um, access for people with disabilities. Um, but certain parts of the site you could repurpose and use. So very interesting. That was the most surreal thing I've ever seen. Uh, seeing it abandoned like that, obviously it was still a 
very, very big part of my life and it was still full of kids when I left. I don't stop focusing, either that or I'm not focusing, I'm not actually sure. If I can, and if I can get them scanned in before the end of the month, the end of the week, I'll put a montage of Pont and Frith photographs Papa, he went to, well, I'll go across the thing of me in school and what I can of the school buildings and, uh, yeah. If I can, I will. Um, I don't know why I'm out of focus so badly, but hey, I'll see you in a bit. I'm back. Now I've had my tea. Um, I've got a bit of a headache, which could be the vaccine, so I'm going to go to bed very early. It's, it's only half five and I had so I'm really tired. So I'm going to have a look at, at the computer very quickly, just if I can find my flipping cursor, just to see if I can see what's going on with the Pont and Frith site. I usually use a mouse, but it doesn't want to give me a cursor. Okay, I'll sort it out in a minute. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to have a lie down, hopefully get rid of this headache, find some painkillers and try and have a little bit of a, a rest. Um, I'll see you in a bit, hopefully. Good morning. Good morning. Not happening. then. I'm in my office. It is Wednesday. I'm getting ready to start my shift in eight, nine minutes. Well, yesterday was surreal, wasn't it? Very, very surreal. So, I don't know, very odd. Um, I had a bit of a headache last night. Like I said, I felt a bit sick. Headache's mostly gone. It's still there, a little niggly bit, but not too bad. And my arm is bruised, I can feel it, but I feel fine. Certainly okay to work. Well, I'm tired, I didn't sleep as well because I didn't do my hooping because I felt so bad, but I'll be hooping today. Um, this afternoon, what's happening today? So obviously work, I finish at quarter to one and then I'm gonna go to, to Mum's, so I haven't seen them for a few days since Friday. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea and some lunch with my mum and dad, pick up Jennifer. Come home and then Jen's supposed to go to dance. She said she did want to go, so fingers crossed she makes it this time. I will be working when she's out on this picture that I'm doing as a buddy colour with Molly Newland. This is from last month. I haven't finished it, as you can see. It's mostly done. I've got some flowers, berries, and the birds to do, and a few leaves. But it is nearly done, so hopefully I can finish that off today or tomorrow. But that's it, I'm gonna get myself set up and logged in and get on with the job. I will see you later. Okay, it's Wednesday evening. I didn't vlog much today because, you know, tired, still suffering. Went to mum's, picked up Jen, she's here looking for something to watch on the phone before bed. She went to dance today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. It was fun, wasn't it? She's a good girl. You like your dance, don't you? So I'm going to snuggle up in bed and read my book for a bit. Not for long though, because I'm tired and want to go to sleep. And you should be asleep already. It's terrible for going to bed, I tell you. Tomorrow's a day in the office. It's all right, I don't mind really. When I'm there, I'm all right. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That was Wednesday. Not a lot happened. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning. I'm at the office, as you can see. It's office day today, so I'm going to get set up and do my shift. I'm going to get home, do a few bits and pieces before getting Jen. I'm going to try and hoop today and it's parents evening so they're doing it by phone so that's cool. It's only a 10 minute phone call. Um, see how she's getting on. And then we're going up the Prince for dinner so I'll show you what we're having when we get up there. Jennifer, was Miss Arthur pleased with you? Jen, Miss Arthur was pleased with you and she said you were a good girl and you sat nicely. And you listened, not like you don't at home, but and you drew lots and lots of pictures and you're good with your numbers and you're learning your words. Yeah? Yeah. Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig? Mama! Oh, don't hit me. Time for food. Morning, it's Friday. Hooray! It's the 11th of November, Armistice Day. Um, yeah, I was going to show you the food last night and I forgot because I got stuck in and it was really nice. Yes, we had the butter chicken curry. It was lovely. And uh, we both had strawberries and vanilla cheesecake, which was beautiful. It was absolutely lovely meal. So nice. Um, and then we came home and we both were like, ugh, tired. 
another early night. But yeah, I'm getting ready to start work. I'm so glad it's the weekend, nearly up four and a half hours and I'm on the weekend. So, oops, <laughs> pencil shot and it fell. I got the fan on because it's always hot in the morning from rushing around. So it'll be on for a little bit. Um, so today I am going to take my dad shopping, get a few bits and pieces for food. Paul might be going out, he's not feeling 100% so he might not. So we'll see what happens. Here. <sighs> Excuse me, see, I'm tired. Um, but it's the weekend, so we don't know what's happening tomorrow. It depends on the weather. If it's nice, Paul might text Freddie's mum. Freddie's one of Jennifer's friends. And see if they can go out to the park. If not, we'll probably go and see his mum over at her house um, and because Jennifer would like to see the dog. I don't know what the weather's doing anyway, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to get started and uh, get this day over with so the weekend can begin. Here we are. It's Saturday and we're up the tower. Hey? Better take two to be on the safe side. So we're going to get a drink because Jennifer's feeling a bit car sick. And what do you want to eat, Jen? Macaroni cheese. Macaroni cheese, okay. Oh, she's gone mad. Look at her. Don't hit it. I see the Do you want to go and see it? Christmas is definitely coming. Should we go and have a look at it? Yeah. Come on then. What do you think of it, Jen? Is it pretty? What's it made of? It's like giant sequins, isn't it? I bet it looks nice at night when it's lit up. Yeah. Well, I like that. Oh, there's that knife sculpture. How did they put up there? That knife crime. Life. Jennifer's got her, her food. Yeah. Sausage, mash and beans. Let's just put a glass of coke all over the table. Hopefully ours won't be too long, so I can cut up a sausage for her. You're good girl, you're going to eat the ends today? Huh? You're eating the ends of the sausage today? Yeah, good girl. Yes. Are you eating the ends of the sausage today? Yeah. Good boy. Everybody's good. Saturday night. Oh, getting ready for bed. This thing doesn't want to focus again, but hey. I'm going to read a bit of it. I still haven't finished it, but I am, as you see, over halfway through. I'm on page 732 of 1160. That'll learn me to read Stephen King in November, won't it? I'm trying to reach my target. Once I get past this, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so we're off to bed. It's football tomorrow, isn't there? I can watch. If it's working, yeah. Isn't it? Good. So, yeah, football tomorrow. Um, we didn't buy much in town. Jennifer got a DVD and a little toy. I bought a Cary Grant box set with four films that I haven't got and I've only seen one of them. Um, and a colouring book, which was a colouring heaven one. And that's about it. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Sunday morning now. We're just getting ready to go to football with Jen. And it's a bit of shopping. Boring. There's only food shopping. And then we'll put them to see mum and dad and come home and then Jen might be going out with a friend later if uh, they're back from what they've got to do. If so, Paul will take her, because I've got a few things I need to do around here before work tomorrow. It's office tomorrow, and we've got to wear proper clothes because they got a visit. Mm. Usually the visits don't happen until after I finish, so I don't really care, but I still better do what I'm told. Um, but yeah, so let's get on with the day. Hello, everybody. It's Sunday evening. Um, look at this bump on Jenna's head. She walked into a bin on Wednesday. You got bruised, didn't you? Oh, see it? See it there, look. Uh, also I didn't see that in the mirror. You didn't see it in the mirror? Well, it's there, isn't it? So it's Sunday evening. I am getting very close to finishing it. Um, I'm on page 942, so it's what, 220 pages? So rather than cook, I've got to do McDonald's. Because cooking's a waste of time when I want to. Yeah, I know. Jennifer's watching Ryan and his family, aren't you? He's coughing you. Hey, stop coughing me. Hey! Hey! <laughs> You're so cute, sweetie. Hey, stop coughing! Nobody's <gasps> coughing, you mean copying? Yeah. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Anyway, um, that's about it. I'm going to carry on and try and get to the end of this while we wait for our McDonald's to arrive. Paul's having a rest because I had one earlier. 
Sunday evening. I finally finished Stephen King's It. I love that book. It's a full star read every time. It's a chunk though. It took me 11 days, 12 days, something like that, to, to read it. 11 days. So, yeah. But it's read. I'm glad I read it. Um, I'm now going to be looking for something a little bit easier to read, a little bit more fun, a little bit, you know. Of course, you know, in December I'm reading as many Christmassy ones. Yesterday I went into Waterstones and they still didn't have the Penguin Cloth Bound Classics edition of A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Writings by Charles Dickens, so I actually ordered it. So it should be in sometime this week and then I'll pop and get it next time I'm in town, which will probably be either the weekend or next week. Um, yeah, so I will be reading that. I've got four or five, maybe six Christmas related books in the cart at the moment. I'm going to check through my list because uh, they're ones I've bought this year. My TBR in my book to see what's there. I'm actually going to have to start working on the other one. It's November. We're heading rapidly towards the middle of the month and I still haven't finished doing my boxes so I might do a bit of that in a bit. Um, just getting Jennifer ready to bed and I'm going to call that a day and get this lot edited together ready for we'll do a reading vlog next week so we will be still talking about general things that are going on but mostly it's going to be about what I'm reading and because I haven't decided yet and I might not even start something tonight I'm not going to guarantee it though because you know me in books <sighs> this thing doesn't focus very well does it hey <laughs> that's better anyway I will see you tomorrow when we do it all again but we will do mostly a reading vlog <laughs>